Today's Def Like Tunes is going to be one you're going to get a kick out of. $5 patron shoutouts for the month of December. Morgan Alsing, Hunter Birch, Cody, Jesse, Devika, Charles, Dan Wright, and Dark. Thank you all for your added support. All of you are super, just saying. Be sure to subscribe and follow me on the social media platform. Yo dudes and do that, your friendly neighborhood Jack Splate here, and yes, I am finally doing Kenichi, the mightiest disciple, tough like the tunes. It's been a long time coming, but I figured, oh, you know what, I could do it. And Kenichi, I love Kenichi, and I'm not even gonna go into that whole, you know, tired of because I've said it in the Rock Lee and Hippo one, but I just love a kid who's getting bullied and getting stronger to make himself feel like a better person. Because that to me is just one of the best qualities in any show. Like seeing someone who starts off weak become someone who becomes so strong and just becomes such a lethal badass by the end of the series and so that is a character I absolutely respect. So I figured today I'd do a Tough Like the Tunes for him. This Tough Like Tunes is going to be more circuit based and it'll help you get a nice rip loom body like Kenichi because he started off this really skinny kid but became this really muscular badass dude by the end and stuff like that so I thought it would be pretty cool to make a workout to get you all that jazz. Now this workout is technically going to have three parts. One part cardio, one part skill, and then one part muscle conditioning. So that's what the video will be focused on today because if you want the cardio conditioning, I have videos for that like here and here and just like so many things. I don't know how the annotation works now, so I might just put a little card thing. So if you see that card thing go by, let me know and uh, try that out, but yeah. But today's Kenichi training is gonna be a nice little strength and conditioning circuit. It's gonna be very challenging, so make sure you drink your water, make sure you warm up thoroughly, and make sure you know you have a timer with you because that, this workout's gonna be timer-based, like really helping you push yourself to the limits. And you may think, oh my God, this is short, but it's actually gonna be really intense, and I had a lot of fun making it. So let's get to it. All right, the first exercise we're gonna have you do is a weighted horse stance. And this is pretty much getting to a horse stance position or a low squat position. And make sure you're holding something that's moderately heavy. I'm holding two old protein jars filled with water. So like, it's not that heavy, but it gets heavier as I'm holding it. So like, get in this stance right here and hold it as long as you can for 60 seconds. Then we're gonna work on your back and arm muscles. So we're gonna do dumbbell rows for this. And what I really want you to do is pull with your elbow and really squeeze in your back. Not a, a lot of people just pull with the bicep or just use their arms, but really focus on squeezing in the back and using the elbow to pull it up. So you really want to feel that tension. Then after that, we're going into lunges, get those nice strong legs. We're going to do jumping lunges, alternating jumping lunges for 60 seconds. This is a great thing to get you nice strong legs. Also help with cardiovascular endurance as well. And so we're going to do that as many times as we can, 60 seconds, alternating. If it's too hard, you can just do an easy step down like um alternate things and after that we're going to go into three count anime god makers so what you're going to do here is you're going to do push-ups but you're going to go up down slowly like one two three hold it and then up so one two three hold it and then up like you're going to do that as many times as you can this starts to burn like really well after a while so it's one of the best workouts you can do for your chest and triceps and shoulders and then after that, we rest 45 seconds. Just get yourself recovered, drink your water. Then we get back into it. And we're gonna go into burpee knees. So this is what you do. You're gonna do a burpee, then you're gonna jump up and do a flying knee. If this is too advanced for you, you can always just do a burpee and then just do like a regular knee, like a knee strike. But yeah, this is what you wanna to do to get that high intensity because it's Kenichi training, so you really gotta push yourself and get harder. Like these wear you the hell out. I'm telling you right now, these are one of the most intense cardio exercises you can do. Then then after that, we kind of tone it back a bit and get pick something up from my man Sean T. Because all we're going to do here is just going to do jumping crosses. So all you're going to do is just jump across and do a cross on your body like a punch so just jump cross punch jump cross punch like that's all you're doing this is a great cardiovascular thing you're not trying to like do it like you can pretend there's someone there and you're like decking I'm like yo bitch what the fuck like yeah you pretend like you're in like an action movie scene and then after that we're going into jumping switch kicks another insanity move that I really love and all you're doing is just alternating the foot you're kicking your foot out and just kicking and just like switch your foot. and if this is too advanced remember you can always just stand and kick alternately like is you don't you want to push yourself 
yourself, but you don't want to like hurt yourself. But this is just a great cardiovascular exercise and great thing. Then after that, we finish up with accordion crunches for 60 seconds. And for these, you really want to feel the contraction at the top. This is great for your upper and lower abs. And it just is a great whole rounded ab routine. And it's one of the best things you can do. Like I've seen a ton, this thing is one of my favorites to be honest. Like it gives me such great results when I'm trying to get cut. And then to finish up, go running three to five miles for time. And if you're wondering, Jax, why didn't you film this? Running away from someone I call master trying to whip me with my complexion. Uh, don't beat me, master. Please don't beat me, master. I don't think so. Yo, dudes and dudettes, I hope you enjoyed today's stuff like tunes. I worked up a nice sweat from it. And remember, always go at your own pace. Always, like, don't feel bad if you have to stop and stuff like that. It's just as long as you keep going and, like, going at your own pace, that's what matters. Like, that's what's going to get you the great results and it'll help you get, like, great hard body like Kenichi and just that never give up attitude because we all have to start somewhere, okay? So never feel bad about that. If you want to see more Tough Like Tunes, be sure to support me on Patreon. My patrons I got to see this uh, a day early. And I also uploaded a ton of new rewards there that some of you may be very interested in there. They're not BS rewards as well. But, uh... That Kenichi, just work your ass off and you too can be the best of the best. Just believe in yourself and work hard. And like I always say, keep calm and booyah on. And don't forget, moment I train hard. <laughs>